The traveller look has become synonymous with fairy tale extravagance and sequined splendour. But the ever more outlandish designs are driven by a delicate game of one-upmanship. Every single one of them makes an effort. You know, from the oldest woman there to the youngest kid makes an effort. And it's all about how nice your outfit is. They want to just go that step further. I mean, they've got a lot of competition because everybody does the same thing. So they've got to be a little bit more outrageous than the next one to make them stand out. For a traveller girl, the pressure to look good starts young. 24 hours from her first Holy Communion, nine-year-old Irish traveller Nan Girl is preparing to receive the Lord into her life for the first time at her salon of choice. Lady Gaga. <laughs> How important is it that you look good? Very, very important. Because there's going to be loads of people up to do. And it's important for me to look good. Because I don't want to be like, oh my God, look at her. She's so ugly. What would make you look ugly? Ugly dress, ugly shoes, ugly hair, ugly makeup, ugly spray tan. Oh, patches all over you. Like, it's important to look good when you make your own commune. It's important to look good for God. God wants to see you looking good. Nan Girl will take her first Holy Communion alongside three cousins. The competition to look the best will be intense. Who do you think is going to look best? Me. <laughs> The first cousin to celebrate Holy Communion alongside Nan Girl is nine-year-old Margaret. So why is the first communion so important to traveller girls? Oh, it's really, really, really big day. Because it's a really big day, a really, really exciting big day. It's really important to us. It's really important to us. Receiving Jesus Christ. Receiving Jesus Christ. And so why is it so important? Because we're a Catholic again, that's what, we, that's what we have to do. So what's going to be your favourite bit of your communion on Sunday? And my dress. Receiving <laughs> Jesus Christ. And receiving Jesus Christ. <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! Margaret has decided to contrast her brilliant white dress with a subtle shade of brown. Yeah, I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be like a princess. They're going to be like ugly sisters. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. So, Margaret, is it expensive to get your nails done? No, not really. They're not off her, anyway. <laughs> so your mum wants you to look the best? Yeah. That's what she said to the dressmaker as well. She said, make sure. Do you make your will? Yeah. So how are Traveller Girls different customers to your other customers? They seem, from a very young age, they like to look nice. They like to have nails, they like to have a tan, they like the hair doing. They just really look after themselves, really look after themselves. And it's not just like adults, it's like young girls, it's bizarre really. What are you looking at? Nan Girl and Margaret would share their communion day with their elder cousin Bridget. With the ceremony just 10 days away, she is trying on her bespoke dress for the first time. Oh, I think everyone cheers you! Lovely. Do you like it, Bridget? Yeah, I really, really like it. Really, really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, shiny. Yeah, it's quite a short skirt. Would you be like to wear that got, in church? Why have we done that one? Yeah. I always wear shorts underneath them. Um, skirts like this. Shorts. On it. Do you? Yeah. So you'd never wear a skirt this short without a pair of shorts underneath? No. Why is that? Um, because we have respect for ourselves. 
She is 12 year old, yeah, but she got to understand us travellers can wear short skirts. I mean, but as long as we have respect for ourselves, we have very, very high standards, high morals. Do you know what I mean? But shorts are needed. She always wears shorts that go knit that there. You know what I mean? You're only showing the leg. That's all she's showing in shorts. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not it's like, she, it's, it's not like she's going to half naked. You know what I mean? It's only a short skirt, like short to front, long to back. Mm -hmm. So you don't see it as provocative. What do you see it as? Julia. See it as she's just... Got, oh, it's nice. It's nice. Does that thought, that thought doesn't even enter your it doesn't mind? doesn't even though? enter my mind, no. Really, really, really don't. Although the majority of gypsies and travellers have now settled in permanent homes, many still spend their lives on the road travelling throughout Europe. But whether at home or abroad, the need to look good is still paramount. Bride-to-be Dolores Quilligan is a 21-year-old Irish traveller who takes the gypsy look to new levels of luxury. We've been in every country in the world. We're driving down along sunny Spain in the beach, and at the moment in England and Ireland it's raining and it's snow. Yeah. So, what girl wouldn't like to live our life? Dolores and her family have been travelling through Spain for the past six months, following her father's business dealings. But she's about to return home to Rathkeel in Ireland for the wedding season, hoping hers will be the most extravagant the town has ever seen. In Rathkeel, everyone goes away, and it's the only time of the year that everybody bees in Rathkeel. Like, we're in Spain, there's some people in Italy. They're all over the place. So it's the only time they meet back in Rathkeel. When was the last time you saw your fiancé? About a month ago. He's in uh, Switzerland. What's he doing in Switzerland? He's a, sale, a salesman. Door knocking, really. <laughs> Up to 10 weddings a week can take place in Rathkeel. To ensure that it is her dress that creates the biggest impression, Dolores has been exploring some unusual creative avenues. I wanted something different. I didn't want something anyone already had, like flowers or stars or tulips. I didn't want anything to do with a flower, because everybody in Rathkeel has flowers. So it's a cat. The top of the dress would be a whole cat coming around, the tail's coming around your neck and coming down here. The crown will be the same. And on the back of the veil is the same two cats. And the dress then is all cotch with all the same cats. So it's going to be kind of cat theme? Yeah, cat. The fairy tale celebrations will begin the night before the nuptials, a further opportunity to push the boundaries of fashion. She said to me, what about a palm tree and a pineapple? Palm tree starting from here and coming the whole way up, and it's coming out of my shoulder. All the, the leaves of the palm tree is coming out of my shoulder. My dress is going to be a proper medal of a pineapple. You know, like the Spanish pineapples and all that kind of, like Spanish. The tuba is going to be like Spanish. And there's going to be a big mass of pineapple. And then the dress will be all coming down, all cinerita, like Spanish cinerita and pineapple. And I'm going to have a big pineapple thing for my hair, like matching cinerita. And that's really it, like, and that's the dress. Dolores has charged gypsy dressmaker of choice Thelma Medine with turning her creative vision into a reality. Although she's made dresses for gypsies from far and wide, it's the Irish travellers like Dolores who bring her the most colourful ideas. Irish travellers are a lot more flamboyant than the English travellers. It's all to do with pride and it's, it looks, it's, it's like that thing of look at us, we're, all, we're doing well. You know, my husband does well, he looks after me and this is what he can do, he can dress us like this. Because, you know, the outfits aren't cheap and if there's ever an, an unusual request, it's where you sort of sit back and go, oh, my it's okay. And then you do it, that's usually off an Irish traveller who wants to have something what nobody else has ever had. <laughs> For centuries, beauty was the exclusive preserve of gypsy women. But the modern traveller man also feels the pressure to look good. Gussie is a 13-year-old Irish traveller who takes great pride in his appearance.
describe your style to me? Handsome, good looking, cute, which is the most girls say is pretty much everything. What do you think? I've gone for ages, but she can't be asked. Are you quite successful with the ladies? I am, yeah. I have too many already. How many have you got? I've about, I've about a hundred and something all over the place. A hundred and something? Mm. Last, I really lost count. Can't really remember. On the morning of their first Holy Communion, Nan Girl and her cousins are sacrificing themselves at the altar of beauty. Nan Girl's dress did not arrive until 2.30 in the morning, putting the beautification process seriously behind schedule. So you stayed on to help yes. last night? Okay. It wasn't for Add us. More diamonds. Add more diamond for them or repair their dress. They need no. to be ready for today. Half an hour before the ceremony is due to begin, there is still much work to be done. 25 minutes. What time is it? 25 minutes to go. Keep your eyes still for me. No, I can't do it. Mummy! Mummy, I don't want it, Mummy! I'm begging of you, Eileen! Beautiful, darling. Beauty is pain. We're meant to be at the church at 12 o'clock and. My aunt rolled me, she's all stressed out. And then Nan girl is crying her ear and making her even more stressed out. I'm not going! I'm not going! Having spent thousands of pounds on dresses and over 24 hours in preparation, the girls are still not ready. And the service begins without them. Though significantly late, the girls are in time to receive Jesus into their life. Just. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. So let us go in peace. We've Hold never on. had so much glamour in the place, have we girls? Hey? Yeah, the priest gave me his body of Christ. I've got Jesus in my mouth. Have a lovely day, girls. God bless you. You look wonderful. Eh? What do you think about the dresses they choose to take their communion in? That's them. Uh, and we accept that. Uh, you know, they, 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 they love to express themselves in this way. And what they're attempting to do, as I see it, is try to bring out that specialness, you know, so that people look at that and say, hey, you know, that's, that's special. Like it or not, it's special. All right, and this to all the girls out there, if you're ever in Coventry, don't be shy to ask me, chat, chat to me or anything. And if you want to ask me out or anything, feel free. I'm a sly fiend. Alright, that'll be it. Thank you. You talk over me, talk over. The competition to look the most beautiful is as fierce as predicted. Are you happy? I'm very happy. I feel like that I'm a 
I'm the prettiest I'm all because people want to go, oh, I want to take your picture, you're so nice. I want to take your picture, cheek, cheek. I want to take your picture, cheek, cheek. And I feel like that I'm the loveliest of them all. And I feel like the Cinderella. You're in my way, you're blocking me spotlight. Hey, I'm not doing <laughs> Get me in a two, don't get one. All right, guys. So you will it be yeah, good? Or do you look the best? Me! Actually, me. No, actually, me. No, actually, me. 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 Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. The debate. I like there, and then I go like that, like that there. <laughs> and it's like, and then it's like that. And then, and then it's like, no, it's like, then it's like. <laughs> a traveller girl's life is mapped out from an early age. How often do you clean your doll's house, Um, I clean my doll house sometimes, I do. Come on! But Boo's father is planning to cash in on Gypsy Girl's other preoccupation, fashion. In one month's time, 34-year-old English traveller Ronnie is going to stage a beauty contest for travellers. The competitions for the girls to come, a modelling competition, all they have to do is walk around in a circle, you know, we'll have some judges there, some proper judges and everything, for them to see, they can judge them, it's not up to me to do it. And I mean, the winner obviously will go on and, and hopefully be a star, you know? Today he's looking at a potential venue. But mindful of prejudice, Ronnie has opted to be completely honest about the nature of his event. This is to find the next gypsy superstar. Right, okay. Right? Um, what we're looking to do is find a gypsy traveling person, yeah, who's, yeah. Who, who, who we're going to try and make into a star, yeah? Okie doke. Um, oh, uh, you've yeah, no qualms about that, have you? No, not really, as long as everyone behaves. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> it's not for nothing else, it's right. not for a bare-knuckle fight. Yeah, it yeah. is actually for this purpose. Right. Do you have um, a camera room? Yeah. Right, because I'll, I'll have to sit in there, because then, then if there's any sort of like, if, the, if I think there's someone I don't want to be in here, then I'll, I will tell them, okay. no, you know, right. from the camera room, you right. know what I mean? Okay. All right. um, the only thing... Um, it's part of our license, we've got to give for notification to the police about any events. Yeah. Uh, to, yeah, it is an event, so I'm yeah. willing to run it by them first. Do you want me to leave your deposit now? Uh, no, it's alright, I'll, co I'll come back to you. There's no, there's no point until it's all 100% confirmed. Right, um, okay then. The person planning to enter the beauty contest is Irish traveller Sammy Joe. Age just 16, her looks are already a closely guarded family treasure. Boys are strictly off limits. Do you have my phone? No. No, I can't have them because mummy and dad would be afraid of us talking to boys on the phone, so. She's that phone, but I'm not. She's the loud one. But they're just a bit strict with me. Because she's um, the oldest. She had a phone before and she was talking to boys on it. No, it's just, my, dad, my dad's a bit, he doesn't want me to go here and he doesn't want me to talk to boys. And it's just my brother, he's more strict than my dad and he just doesn't want me. Even though for now she's being kept reluctantly under wraps, planning what she might wear at the next wedding is a constant preoccupation. It's a bit revealing. <laughs> Don't show me socks. We didn't. <laughs> what? We didn't. Why, do I look fat on it? Yeah. So you're not allowed a phone? No. Oh, yeah. not allowed. So your brother let you wear a bra? No. No he hasn't even seen it. He hasn't even seen this yet. It's keeping up appearances quite important. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? So if I've seen a traveller girl I haven't seen in ages, yeah? And she's like, oh sure, like, not dressed nice and not fixed, like her is all up and, and she's not dressed fixed. Like I'll say, oh, she's the very bad case and see how the girl's going around, she's a holy show now, look how, how bad she is. That's how a lot of people talk about you, so you have to get fixed proper when you're going off. Know what I mean? Like you can't go like company, you know? Yeah. Uh, like when travel girls are cleaning up, 
even when they clean up, even if they have jammers on, they'll try and put up in a belt top and try and fix herself while they're cleaning up, in case it's in travellers. Although the traveller look is one that exudes self-confidence, underneath the glamorous outfits, not all gypsy girls are so assured. She's older than me, like she'd wear shorts, really short shorts. But I wouldn't wear that, I'd rather cover myself up in tracksuits, things like that. And I can't show the top of her hair because I'd die with shame. People would be looking at me, but she would. Like, she can talk to boys, but I can't. It's too shameful. I'll probably shiver and shake everything. On her way home from Spain, Irish traveller Dolores is stopping off in Liverpool to see her dresses for the first time. What looks best, palm tree or pineapple? I don't want pineapple to look better than palm tree, do you? She's the bride. I think that one looks best. Do you? Definitely. I think you need some more diamonds on it. Do you like it? Everything is unreal. <laughs> Is it what you thought it'd be? It's more. Right. It's really nice, isn't it? It's really, really lovely, then. I was so worried about this wedding yes. dress. What do you think you'll say when you see that one, then? It's going to be hard to beat, isn't it? I hope so. <laughs> You've Everything been like your is amazing. It's lovely, isn't it? Everything. Oh, thanks for that, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Is it how you pictured it? More. Have you ever seen a wedding dress like this? No. It's it took a long time to do, did it? Yeah. Days. It was hard enough getting it to look like a cast. You nearly had a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull that diamond off. Yeah. Oh, she looks lovely, doesn't she? Sparkling. Diamond is a girl's best friend. <laughs> it's fabulous, it really is. Dolores's extravagant cat theme doesn't end with her dress. Jill Broadfoot has been charged with making sure the cake hits the same lavish heights. The look we're going for is blingy and over the top and in your face. Yeah, and it looks really nice, actually. It always looks better than what you think it will. You think, hmm, mm, don't know about that. When we were first talking about it, we were like, hmm, mm, cat on a cake, it's not going to look good, is it? But I think it will work well. The cat cake will eventually rise 10 tiers into the air and will be flanked by 14 smaller versions. It's one of the most expensive cakes Jill has ever made. But with such grand designs, appearances can be deceptive. This cake is actually polystyrene. <laughs> so there you go. That's one of our secrets, out. The big ones are all polystyrene, they're all fake. So all the girls want big cakes, they want bigger, better, whatever, you know, the more outrageous, the better. Um, as, and the way to do it is polystyrene. I mean, the things they go for, the things that they come up with, sometimes they, they wouldn't work in cake, so you have to have polystyrene involved in it. You'll see people walking out of the do with a cake, which they think's real, and it's not, it's polystyrene. So that's quite funny. <laughs> Irish traveller Sammy Jo will soon be competing in a traveller-only beauty contest. Ah. I like that one. Today, she's come to purchase a new dress at Affleck's Palace in Manchester, one of the select few places that cater to the gypsy look. Go 
else now? Is there another? Like only blind. So do you want to be a bit blingy? Yeah. A bit showy? Yeah. A bit out there? Yeah. <laughs> Give us a kiss of flash, there you go. Oh, Mummy's life. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Yes, sir. Guys, that's why you pick some stuff. Sunless, don't they? Can would you say Annalise? Yeah. I think that's gorgeous. I think you? it looks lovely, doesn't it? Look, it's still show it. It still shows your figure off to a T without showing your flesh. If you want more decoration, and I don't know, I did, I did one similar. She had uh, mm. not the, she had like mirror, mirrors, mirrors on one side, mm. but not a three D flower, flat flower, but it was turquoise, and acid pink, and yeah. that was stunning. Was stunning. it? Yeah. And you can have that see through panels as well if yeah. you wanted to. If you want to show a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah could, would you be able to do that for me? Yeah. yeah. It's nice to have somebody that comes oh, in. Nice that does get doled up nowadays. I mean, really doled up. I mean, you go down the ice street and you know, a, lot of, a lot of people go out in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt now. I mean, they do come and they, they really get so glamorous. Sun tans, the hair done, the nails done. They spend a fortune on the outfits. And for one night, you know, it's, that's what it's about really, isn't it? So someone like me, I think, they, they come with all these ideas. I mean, I buzz off them because they give me ideas as well. And I think it's fantastic. Love it, love it. How's that one, love? Let's have a look. Oh, that one. Mm. I like the first one. I know. That's nice as well. I like the first one. With that one, you could really dark your sun time. Huh? Go really dark your sun time with that yeah. one. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice as well, isn't it? Comes far, it's lovely. Your eyes are coming Although naturally more reserved than her sister, Annalise will also be entering the fashion show. Colours a bit grown up for you, babe. I'll go yeah. It's come different colour. Black and red, I think it's too old looking for her. You it's know too, what I mean? It's, it's, no, your, your mother will kill me. No. <laughs> it's too old looking. Yeah, she needs something a bit more pastel. Pastel pinks be lovely, fuchsia yeah. pinks. Yeah. A different colour. You can't breathe. Just choose the faint on me, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Despite its popularity, the glamorous traveller style is a relatively modern development. And not all gypsies are so enamoured with the new look, Sammy Joe's grandmother included. They show too much of their body. I don't like it at all. What can you do with this young generation, isn't it? The thing you can do about it. Years ago, if you got out dance like that and now with them clothes on you, oh, you'd be booed to death. Why do you think they dress like that? Get their stuff noticed. <laughs> but what can you do? It's their fashion, it's their world, isn't it? Not ours. What did you wear when you were their age? Huh. Maybe a school frock. I wore a lot of pyjamas. Rathkeel in County Limerick is one of the richest towns in Ireland, with travellers making up around half the population. <laughs> During the wedding season, up to 10 ceremonies will take place here every week, each accompanied by a no-expense-spared night-before party. To ensure she stands out, Dolores Quilligan has commissioned a Spanish-themed dress. I didn't think it would be. Are you pleased with how it looks? Yeah. Has anyone in uh, Rathkill had a pineapple and a palm tree? Dress? No, we're the first. Mm. Uh, I'd say we wouldn't be the last ever <laughs> to have a pineapple. And a uh, palm tree. How big a deal is the night before the wedding? It's like a big deal. It's like it's the, the last nearly, night you're single, really. It's nearly as big a deal as the day of the wedding. You have to look nearly as nice, but it's not in white. Not on my face, because it'll go into my eyes. Where? Just along here, top of me. See, are you sad about tomorrow? She's getting married. Yeah, like I am sad, because, you know what I mean? Like, I'm the only one left, so... 
Like when you're used to having a sister around, it's hard kind of to see her gone, really. Do you know what I mean? Like when you have a sister and she's gone in, she's married, like her life kind of on your own, but no one really. She'd get married, she'd have her own husband and her own caravan, like and everything. Despite their extravagant cost, the pineapple and the palm tree are not conducive to free movement. But fortunately, the girls have ordered a luxury limousine to transport them to the venue. How am I going to get in, Mama? How am I going to get into the limousine? Put your two legs in there. It's diving outside. Hold the door to that, quick. Yeah, come in. I can't get in, too many Oh, you can't get in? I can't get in there, how do you mean? What? How do the doors get in? Go down that Twist your body. It won't push you. Twist your body. Go on the other side where you're not going to see. At a nearby hotel, the outfit's creator, Thelma Medine, has arrived with a wedding dress, ready for tomorrow's ceremony. That's it. That's it. Well done. Oh, I've got to admit, when they said a palm tree, and a pineapple, it was a bit, now you're going too far. But when you see it, it looks quite nice. Yeah. Different, really different, but nice. Yeah. It sounds ridiculous, but it is lovely. It really is lovely. Because our philosophy is whatever they want, we give them. When she asked for that, I just thought, do we just say, you're going a bit far now? She wants something that no one else has had. It's not always a good thing that no one else has had a palm tree and a pineapple. Have you ever seen anything like it before? No! <laughs> What's she wearing? Uh, I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> we, we never say no, we'll do anything. That's right, yeah. But I'd say up to now, this is probably the most outrageous request we've ever had, really. Having invested in a new outfit, Sammy Joe is almost ready for the beauty contest, but one last crucial stage remains. When it comes to achieving the traveller look, being brown is just as important as bling. Obviously, all traveller girls get some bit to look dark, makes them look nicer, if you know what I mean? So, it's just important. All traveller girls have to get my... You get, everybody says, she, that young one's like a ghost. She needs to go and get a sunbed, you know what I mean? So, some girls take them every day, but I don't get that many, you get three a week. Is there any kind of negative side effect to it? Which you mean, like getting cancer? Yeah, yeah, like some people say you get cancer after sunbeds, but I haven't met one traveller girl that got cancer. Only country people say that. They say all girls get cancer, of how many times they get on them and all this. You don't, honestly, I've never, probably some girls might have did because they get one every day, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to get it, end up getting it, but I don't know. If you did know somebody got it, would it stop you going to some beds? If I knew someone that got it, I'll get like two a week. I'd cut it down a bit more, maybe one a week. If I knew that someone got it, I wouldn't get as much. But at the end of the day, if I get cancer, I get cancer, and that's it. This, I might not get cancer, right? But at least I still look good, you know what I mean? Oh, freezing! In Liverpool, Sammy Jo and her sister are arriving at the Traveller Only Beauty Contest. How are you feeling? Nervous. I'm a bit excited now. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm a bit excited. Help! Someone help! After a series of setbacks, Ronnie finally found a venue to accommodate his venture. Chandeliers, red carpet, you name it, we've got it. Roughly, we're going to have somewhere in the region of about 50 girls. 
um, it was going to be on, you know, that uh, whether we'll be able to get through them all and, and for them all to join in the competition, I really don't know whether we're going to have the time. But despite Ronnie's extensive preparations, the competition is less substantial than expected. Only four contestants have entered. You know, there's been there's been girls come go. There's been um, people come go, and then like we've got down to people who really want to be be that type of thing now at the end. You know. Begging me, grandfather, grandfather, please, grandad, beg you, please, please, don't make me fall upside down. I'm gonna show, please, beg you. In spite of the poor attendance, nerves are running high. Oh, please, no, I really don't want to do it. I probably. Fall for Gypsy and Traveller Girls, new experiences are rare. The challenge of performing, unprecedented. Very scared. I feel like I'm going to fall upside down. It's going to get like this. My feet start shaking. I'm going to collapse. You're shaking, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, shit. Three, two, one, hands down. Just go. <laughs> Ronnie has engaged four judges, his wife, Maria, a modelling agent, and two local hairdressers. Someone go up, I'm going to get sick. Someone go up. You, you're next to go up, I'm not going up. <laughs> While the girls attempt to impress the judges, downstairs, Ronnie has opted not to watch his vision unfold. It's just out of respect to the girls, to be honest with you. I love this first time I'm a married person. Um, I've got a wife, I've got two kids. My wife's up there, she's organising all that type of thing. Although I want to make somebody into something, it's against my beliefs to sit up there and watch, you know? The girls have overcome their nerves, but it will be up to the judges to select a winner. Just pull it like that. Just pull the top one. At the home of the bride-to-be, Thelma is helping Dolores into her lavishly created cat-themed dress. You look gorgeous. We were got here too late to go to your, you know, the night before outfit. What does everyone say when they've seen you? Everyone but was in there with them. Were they? Yeah. They couldn't believe how nice they were. Was no one shocked? The whole hall was shocked because they were saying, oh, this is your night before dress, I don't want to see your wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they won't know what to expect, will they, now? After no. You? And they've kept it as a secret, have you? Nobody yeah. knows, no one. No one. Oh, where's your one? Come on. Oh. One minute, I'm going to fall over the Ken Kings. I can't because like, the Ken Kings are coming us. Having negotiated the door, the bride boards one of the largest and most expensive carriages Rathkeel has ever seen. While the dresses creators battle the elements, Dolores is transported to the church in full gypsy splendor. In Liverpool, while the girls wait nervously in the wings, 
The judges are attempting to decide the winner of the traveller only beauty contest. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to go to number, number two. Number two. 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 Yeah. Sammy Jane. Yeah. Sammy Jane. See, Sammy Jane also had something as well, but I think with number one, she, 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 she basically had it. It depends what you're looking for. I think number yeah. one's quite classically yeah. beautiful. Yeah. But yeah, number two is embodies everything that traveller girls are. Do you know what I mean? She's yeah. very kind of glamorous. She's got all the bling. And... After much deliberation, the recipient of the coveted crown can finally be revealed. <laughs> Despite scoring points for her gypsy look, Sammy Jo has missed out. There we go, the crown goes to Romani gypsy Montana. She does look lovely, this girl, yeah? But she just come in plain and simple. Her dress was just all squashy diamonds on her. She only had a bit of studs and airs, a bit of makeup, didn't she? Just a bit of Tiny foundation. Bit of makeup, that's, that's, all. that's all she had. We all knew she was going to win. That's why. Because she really is lovely. And yes. she deserves it. She really does deserve it. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Long day. It's been a long day for all of us, hasn't it? But let's just hope something comes out of it for, for some of the girls. You know? I will come back here next year, like, go on a diet and fix myself up better. But I won't do it as a joke, because my brother will kill me. Break my legs. One more. Lovely. Three, two, one. At the reception venue in Rathkeel, the displays of wealth continue. We're the proper travellers, we are the Rack Hill travellers. <laughs> <laughs> We're living to the best, right? Horses, Ferraris, Rack Hills like Beverly Hills. <laughs> right. This is your best car. My first car, right. I'll chat to you later, yeah? But it's not only in the car park that big impressions can be made. The guests have attended a host of weddings during the week, with a new outfit for every occasion. From your toes to your bows, it has to be sparkling. It has to be diamonds. Diamonds everywhere. <laughs> diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> We think of travellers as being like unconventional, unpredictable and uncontrollable, probably. Usually people have restrictions on what they want or what they can wear or what they want to do. Not them. What she's wore today, it won't be forgotten. You know, everyone will remember that. You know, she's known as Cat Girl now, that's it. Hey, the police is here. I think the police hit us. Next time, gypsies and travellers come up against the law. What do you think of the police? Crap. Don't worry about the police. Just tell them, I'm the daddy. But despite the authorities, still find a way to celebrate. I went and I tell the truth. I want a couple of balls. <laughs> and I want a good fight.